Well, guys, if you're here, that means you survived January 2020. And well, congratulations for doing so. Even though January was such a rough month, it brought me 10 paychecks from my monthly dividend growth account on Robinhood. And you know what? We're gonna be going through all those today. But first, I wanna thank you guys so much for getting this channel to 300 subscribers by the first month of January, guys. That was my goal by the end of February. I hope to get anywhere from 350 to 400. That is my goal, guys. Hopefully we can hit it, and the only way we can is with the love and uh, help from you guys. And I wanna, I appreciate it so much. Thank you for getting us over 300. I think at the filming of this video, I'm at 307, and it is February 1st that I'm filming this video. And uh, I just wanna thank you guys so much for the love and support that you are giving this channel, and hopefully we can hit as close as we can to 400 by the end of February. Also, happy Black History Month, guys. Now, let's hop into the phone so we can check out those dividends and their account. But first, I got a free stock from one of you guys for signing up, and I appreciate you so much. See this here? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this up and let's see what we got. We got Plug Power. Let's see what this is. $3.90, all right. <laughs> Appreciate you guys so much for using my link to sign up for Robin Hood. And you guys know all my links are in the description, all my affiliate links. If you use any of these to sign up, um, the Robin Hood, you'll get a free stock when you sign up and I'll get a free stock. With M1 Finance, you'll get $5 and I'll get $5 when you sign up and fund your account. With Acorns, you'll get $5 and I'll get $5 when you sign up for the account, guys. And I appreciate y'all so much for using this. It helps me out a lot, it helps the channel out a lot, especially because we're not monetized. So this is one way how we make a little revenue from this channel. Let's go ahead and look at the portfolio and see how we did over the past month. And as you can see here, on the day, I was down about 70, um, 60%, uh, 60.6% or so. Um, of course, I think uh, several people's, um, a lot of people's portfolio kind of tanked over the past week or two uh, because of the coronavirus and just all the things that's going on with uh, global economics and the U.S. economics as well. Um, shout out to Bruce Wang. i uh, seen on his Instagram that his portfolio is tanking as well. So um, don't feel bad if yours is tanking because I'm pretty sure most people's is. Uh, at least shooting down somewhat, you know, losing gains. But on the, you know, on the day we're down roughly twenty dollars. As you can see, I made a little uptrend after hours. Um, on the week, I'm down fifteen bucks, which isn't bad. Pretty good. Well, not pretty good, but it could be worse. On the month, I'm down twenty-seven dollars, which we were up close to thirty-two hundred. But I'm sure we'll make those gains back. Um, and three months, we are still up roughly 5%, $146.06. So I'm not too worried about it. Plus, you know, even if I'm losing, as you can see here, Ford shot down, MJ shot down, PSEC and Verizon shot down, but everything else is uh, everything else is up pretty much. But as you can see here, everything else is pretty much up. It may be downtrend a little bit, but I still have gains from it and I still have these dividends coming in. <laughs> and that is the whole reason of dividend investing. Even if you're negative um, on your gains, you're still getting money from the dividends. So you could be down uh, $10 from Ford, but if you've held it for the past year and you have, let's say, 50 shares, you've made more than $10 from the dividends. So that's kind of how that works. I'm actually probably up right now on Ford um, or close to being even as you guys know, I started this uh, Robin Hood challenge. Um, no, about October or September, something like that. So I think we only captured one dividend or maybe two dividends from it so far. But uh, yeah, also guys, I have an update on the portfolio here. Let's see. So. Um, I recently sold one of my positions, which is Apple Hospitality REIT. Um, I had 10 shares at $15.75. Once I pretty much broke even with my dividends and all that, I got rid of it. Um, I, I just kind of outgrew the stock. I had it previously um, in another portfolio and same thing happened there. I kind of outgrew it. It wasn't 
doing my expectations. It wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. It wasn't, <laughs> I just feel like the money I put in here, I could have used better in some of my other stocks. So that's what I did. I also sold Neighbors, Neighbors Industries. So I got that money back from it and I will re be reinvesting it into the portfolio into another uh, stock. All right, but let's go over my buy. Let's go over my recent buys. So January 21st, I bought one share of AT&T at $38.24. Um, January 24th, I bought one share of SPHD at $43.59. January 24th, I also bought one share of Verizon at $6.56. January 24th, I also bought four shares of Ford at $9.04, bringing my total up to 50, 50 shares for that. Um, also, January 24th, I bought one share of MPW Medical Properties Trust at $22.51. January 27th, I bought one share of MJ at $16.82. January 27th, I also bought three more shares of PSEC Prospect Capital at $6.53. I see I'm continually a uh, dollar cost averaging into my portfolio, as well as adding other stocks to the portfolio that I think is a good fit for my portfolio. And I will be doing a lot more of that in the next, you know, in the following months. <clears throat> Let's go to my 10 paychecks that I got from my dividends over the past month. Boom. So we're going to go to dividends. Let's go to January 3rd. So January 3rd, I got paid $4.80 for having for having 15 shares of Alternative Harvest ETF MJ and that was about 32 cents a share they paid me. Also we're also January 3rd I got paid 5 cents for owning 5 shares of Neighbors LTD which is about 1 which is 1 cent a share. January 9th I got paid $1.30 for owning 5 shares of MPW which was about 26 cents a share, which I bought more of MJ, MPW, AGNC, PSEC, and SPHD. So next month, they'll be even higher. And those are, um, M MJ isn't a monthly dividend stock, but the other ones are. So next I got paid on January 10th for only 10 shares of AGNC, I got paid $1.60, which is 16 cents a share. January 15th, I got paid $1.40 for owning 14 shares of Apple Hospitality REIT. So that's about 10 cents a share. January 15th, I also got paid 23 cents for owning one share of Realty Income Corporation, which is another monthly dividend paying stock. Stag is also another monthly dividend paying stock. And on January 15th, for owning five shares, I got paid 60 cents, which is roughly 12 cents a share. And PSEC on the 23rd of January, I got paid 66 cents for only 11 shares of it. So that's about six cents a share from PSEC. And as you guys know, I am currently building up PSEC. I'm currently building up all of these monthly dividend um, stocks so I can continue to grow every month. Also with my every three month stocks, I'm also growing those and I'm adding more um, value dividend stocks to the portfolio. Iberia Corporation, for only one share, I got paid 45 cents, so which is 45 cents a share on January 24th. And finally, SPHD, uh, this is one stock I want to really get a lot more shares of this year, um, which I'm going to do, definitely. Uh, I can't wait till the fractional shares and the drip sets in um, till they're available for everyone. So I can apply this to all this and really get my, uh, really get my dividends working for me. Cause as of now, I usually have to wait a couple weeks to, for my dividend checks to, uh, allocate and build up before I can buy, you know, a share of Ford or a share of PCX or something like that. But it's all good because, you know, I'm still putting that money toward a good cause in the portfolio. So, uh, for owning on January 31st, for owning eight shares, of SPHD, I got paid a dollar and 24 cents, which is roughly 15 cents, just over 15 cents, 15 point, uh, 15, 56 cents. So, uh, yeah. So guys, all together for the month of January from my 10 paychecks, I got paid $12 and 33 cents. Now, mind you, this is just from a $3,000 portfolio, but I am getting paid every month 
and pretty much getting a few dividends every week. So we're slowly building up the portfolio guys and that is what it's about. It's about building it up over time. That's how real wealth is built. That's how real wealth stays. And guys, every week we're reinvesting dividends guys and that's what it's about. <laughs> guys, let me know in the comments below where you, you think I should be putting more money into my account. Do you think I'm putting more money in the wrong area? Do you think I should add more value dividend stocks? Let me know what you guys are investing in in the comments below. So, and also if you wanna be entered in the contest that I'm still holding, it's a free giveaway for a free shirt. If you guys don't know what it's about, go to my video I posted previously to this one and it'll tell you all the details, you'll see the prize and all that. But if you wanna be entered, all you have to do is smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. You have to hit that red subscribe button if you already have it. And you have to leave a comment below, let me know that you did this. And in the next few weeks or so, I will put all the names in the hat of the people who've done all this, who've commented and all that. And I will pick a winner. And we'll go from there, guys. Also, look, if you don't even wanna be entered in, it's all good. Look, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that red subscribe button if you haven't. Once again, guys, thank you so much for over 300 subs. Let's see if we can get to 400 by the end of this month. And guys, look, if you find value out of this, you know what to do. Guys, look, I'm gonna get out of here. If you wanna continue your journey to financial enlightenment, click one of these videos. All right, guys.